Ladies and gentlemen, welcome in to the Citadel Dynasty little franchise that I'm trying. I recently downloaded a college basketball simulator game where you have to recruit, put together a team, and then uh, compete. And I wanted to do one with the Citadel Bulldogs, the military school from South Carolina. So this is year one of this. We are, I believe, in 2023. You can see it's May 1st, so we're right beginning the offseason of college basketball, taking a look at my roster. You can see I've got a few decent players, a nice little three-and-a-half star, multiple three-and-a-half star players. Uh, but when it comes to recruiting, we will try and work our way up. When it comes to my staff, I have decided to name, this is kind of the person I control, name the head coach Jerry Kent, just because I think, I think it's a nice basketball name, honestly. And you can see... I gave myself some pretty good ratings, especially on offense. I think when it comes to this team, I want to do a 30-year playthrough with the Citadel, hopefully win some national titles, hopefully maybe move into the Big 12, or I guess it would be the ACC because the Citadel is located in South Carolina, so we would move up to the ACC if we have a dynasty run in the Southern Conference, but you can see this team is going to be offensive heavy. I am an offensive coach. I really don't care about defense. My assistant coaches, they're all horrible. Wow. Well, what are you going to do? That's that's kind of, that's what you would expect when it comes to the roster. Oh, here we go. You can see all of our potential players. We have uh, some players that are developing, a junior, a, a senior, unfortunately. This freshman, Jim Lewis, possibly. Wow, he's already a three and a half star as a freshman. Maybe he's someone that develops a sophomore, Alvin, who possibly could develop. So we will see when it comes to our players, but I'm going to have to do some recruiting, I'm guessing, in the coming days. Stats, no one has any stats. Recruiting class, we don't have a recruiting class yet. Depth, I'm just going to kind of roll through all these. This is our depth right now. I might just leave it as it is or just use the suggestion for now because I'm really not familiar with those players. And then when it comes to a strategy, oh, this is good. So my strategy I want to use is... Uh, Probably heavy outside three-point shooting team. Offensive description. Um, we're not we're not gonna do that right now. Defense, full court, man to man, hundred percent, man to man, eighty-seven percent. That's fine. Let's see what this is. I really have never played this game. Oh, nice. Th this tells me all my stats, so I'll be able to see that. My schedule. Oh, you might get to pick your schedule. I think you get to pick your non-conference. I want to I want to pick my schedule so bad. School info. The Citadel team prestige 11 out of 100, 1 star. I think it's out of 5 stars, so we're a 1 star, but we are in a in an okay conference. Conference prestige 28th, 1 and a half star. Southern Conference. Guys, this is the conference with Samford and, and all those type of teams. Facilities C, Academics C+, SAT minimum 900. McAllister Fieldhouse is our arena, Charleston, South Carolina. Yeah, so if we do get into a better league, we would go to the ACC. Our arena capacity, 6,000. I could actually edit this. <laughs> Should I change it? No, I'm not going to change it. I'm going to leave it as is. I actually had to edit the the in front of the Citadel because it was just Citadel, and I like the, so it's, it's pretty funny. School history. We're 400 games below 500, 420 winning percentage, zero national titles, zero conference titles, NCAA tournament history, zero appearances, zero Sweet 16s. I was trying to find, how do I change this to Final Four rather than it say semifinals? That's, that's annoying, but I'd also like this to say Sweet 16 instead of Round of 16, but NIT... Oh, we made this tournament once. What is? What even is this tournament? I think this is the made-up tournament. But you can see I added the CBI and the NIT tournaments. Our net rating, 282. I think that's just based on alphabetical order, honestly. Polls and media. UConn coming off the national title. Kansas, Duke. You can see we're obviously not going to be ranked in, in, in any of these. But you can just go to the advancement. And I think I'm just going to play through the offseason here in this first AI suggestion, total team budget. Yeah, we'll let the AI do it. It really does. That, that's perfectly fine. Recruiting class ranking. How is VCU ranked fifth? Michigan State with the number one overall class. But I, I didn't even recruit this year. 
oh, we're, we're, we're 95th. That's actually really good. So I'm happy about how the Citadel is recruiting before I've gotten here. 95th is, is good for the Southern League. But we do have, oh, a scheduling notice. Why would you put together our non-conference schedule? I should be the one putting together our non-conference schedule, not you. My AD is going to put together our non-conference schedule. Please just allow us to face a bunch of no-names. Thanks. Yeah, so th this is this is our league right here. Mercer, Furman, Chattanooga, Sanford. We could really run this league. VMI is always horrible. Western Carolina is normally terrible. So, I, I mean, this is a league that we should dominate eventually. How do we recruit, though? That's the question. All right, I think I might have messed up the recruiting here in my first year, but apparently, maybe these are the players that are, oh, these are just the players in the Southeast region. A five-star point guard. Let me offer him a scholarship, and let, let me, let, you know what? Let me just see if I can get this kid. We'll host him. He, he declined the visit. Yeah, we're not gonna be able to get a five-star right now. There's no way. Maybe we should go for someone from, there's no one even from South Carolina in here. Maybe we can go for, well, the problem is there's zero interest from any of these players. Are you kidding me? So I'm guessing me trying to get any of these top players is just, oh, I don't even have any scholarships left to offer. I think I'm just going to end up simulating to, oh yeah, another thing that I found, if you go to this, it shows my... You can see I'm totally offensive minded, very little defense, good player develop, good scouting. But yeah, so that's basically it. I have 100% job security. Job goals don't finish last in the conference. The int see, I'm going to assume that the only players I'll be able to recruit, you see it says interest none. The only players I'll be able to get are when, oh, there's a cool. All right, Frank Wright, possibly. Oh, a six, well, what is this kid? He's a two-star? Yeah, I'd rather not. These kids, I'd rather save my scholarships, honestly, man. This is kind of, do I try and go for a glue guy here? It doesn't seem like, this is slim pickings. Maybe I should go to any region, all regions, yeah. L let's see if this will show the number one player in the nation, at least. Are these, these have got to be the number one player, the number one player in the nation going to Duke already. Yeah. Nation number one overall player. I like these recruiting rankings. All right. If we just go to who's the best, who's the player, the highest ranked player. How did that, that could go to Nebraska highest ranked player. We might have a shot with this is embarrassing. This is sad, folks. What is this? Over? I don't I don't know what that means. Oh, come on, man. All right, it's it's whoever this kid is. Yeah, this kid's a freaking He looks 40 years old. Hopeful uh select recruiting pitch. Playing time, text recruit. I live with both of my parents and they're pretty nice people. Neither, this kid's an NPC. All right, hopefully we can get him. Hopefully we can get him. We're going after a center. Let, 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 let's hopefully see if we can set our own schedule. It's September 11th. Let's, let, let's advance past 9-11. I think my schedule is, there's nothing I can do. It's, it's like completely locked. I would really prefer to face Division Two teams, but there's no, there's nothing, there's nothing I can press. Seems like it's fully locked, unfortunately. Your schedule has been created. You cannot change the conference schedule on any preseason tournament, but you can change your non-conference schedule. Click on the advanced menu option. Where's the advanced, this thing? Do I click on this? All right, we're going to hopefully this works. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. I don't want to face Oregon State. What about the Division II schools?
Omaha, Dartmouth. Yeah, Dartmouth. We'll start off with Dartmouth. On the road, though? Recruiting for this week will be run when you advance. So, we're going to change that. I would rather... N Mississippi State seems... Oh, we could face Lindenwood and get an easy win. Yes, yes, yes. This is a good schedule. I'm going to keep this schedule. That's good. That's a good non-conference schedule. We'll face Lindenwood on the road. All right, finally, the Citadel makes their debut here in 2023 against Dartmouth. The heavy favorites ranked 149th in the net. We're at 282. And we end up losing to Dartmouth 88 to 72. That's all right. We can build on it. Nigel Williams. Wow. Nigel Williams with 20 and 14. Wait, I got to get out of get out of this commissioner mode. So that was actually That's an impressive game from him. 20 and 14, also 3 assists, 2 steals, 4 blocks. All right, what we're going to have to do is go back and and we'll, we'll try and get our first win here. Our next game is against San Diego at home in a few days. All right, well, I'm still trying to get the hang of how to actually do this, but I did decide to just simulate throughout the entire non-conference schedule, and you can just take a look at how we did here in our first year non-conference play. It didn't go very well. And honestly, you know, we don't, we don't play a ton of defense, but Nigel Williams... He is a very, very nice player for us. He's really our, our bright spot. 28 points, 20 points, 22 points. We started off with three losses, beat Northern Kentucky. Northern Kentucky isn't that bad. San, beating San Francisco, that's a good win for us. A loss to South Alabama, beat Lindenwood barely, 97-93. We just play no defense, that's the problem. Like, we're averaging 81 points, giving up 90 points. Our net rating is almost 300 there's only like 360 teams, man. I don't know why we decided to schedule Toledo. I should have gotten rid of that game. But yeah, we're on to our conference schedule. And we'll have to see how we do. Just looking at our team stats. In terms of, what do I want? Can I adjust this? Alright, let's go to points overall. Nigel Williams, Stephen Hartfield. The top two performers. June... Oh, he's a senior? Oh, we're going to be horrible next year. We're going to be at atrocious next year. Maybe Hartfield returns. Jim Lewis, a freshman. Averaging... Tw All right, we've got a freshman who might be a four-year player. He might be pretty good. And then... Where is the one... Is this... Oh, the insights where you look at all your stats... 77th in points per game, 61st in assists. We're last in all of college basketball, I think, in points allowed. So I think the reason that is, if you look at offensive rating, 110th, defensive rating, somebody needs to fix the defense. Fix the defense. I'm not a defensive coach. If you look at my little pie chart, oh, maybe I did it in strategy or something. No, this is this is not what it was. Oh, it was in here, I think. Yeah, so I have offensive pace maxed out, offensive crash boards maxed out. <clears throat> Maybe I should up the defensive intensity. But per honestly, I really don't like rotating players, especially <coughs> excuse me. Especially because we just don't have uh, the bench to rotate a ton of players, so I'm going to leave it on like that. I don't know. I, I think I need to hire a better coach. I think that's what's going to have to happen. Mercer is sitting at 8-3. and three. They, They're they 37th in terms of net. We have to face Mercer right, right to start conference play. We're actually not terrible. We're right in the middle of our league at 3-8 and eight with a bunch of other teams. All of us are horrible, honestly. There's only two teams with a winning record coming out of non-conference play in our league. So maybe we could finish somewhere in the middle... But I think this is going to end off the first episode. Yeah, so when it comes to this, in terms of simulating, the simulations do take a really long time. So I'm just going to kind of sim past all of those 
in, in terms of the actual video because it, it's kind of annoying. You would think a game like this, you'd just be able to sim really quickly, kind of like out of the park baseball, but it's it's not like that. I mean, you can simulate really far into the future, but it's just a real drag to simulate all these games because they all show up. Like, this is what you can do. Sim to conference tournaments, sim season, but it takes a while to go through it all. So probably in the next episode, I'll get through year one. And then I'm guessing they're going to let me recruit a little bit better players. I'm hoping, but right now we're sitting at three and eight. We will see. We have to somehow get our conference or our team prestige better to be able to recruit better players. That's the first step to all of this. Maybe we can make a run, make the NCAA tournament somehow. If we win our conference, it seems wide open, but uh, either way, guys, that is going to do it for this video. Make sure you're following me on X. Link to that's always in the description.